Hi all, I have another beautiful game to show you today. Nemorino was playing against Lila in the Chesscom Rapid Redux 2018. This is a 30 minute time control with 5 second increment. So Lila playing black, e4. We have the Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, and a bishop b5 check. The Nemzovic Rosalino Rosalimo attack system. Knight d7 was chosen by Lisa. a4, a6, bishop e2. So this is quite a positional choice. And Lila is actually very, very strong in positional play. So it might not actually be the best choice for the uh, classical, more classical AB engines, alpha beta engines to play against Lila. d3, we have b6. So aiming to Fianchetto this bishop, knight a3. And this one, g6, so a double Fianchetto from Lila. Knight goes back actually, a bit of indecision it seems there. Bishop b7, c4, Leela castles, now knight c3. So that's why the knight went back, to help clamp down on both the d5 and the b5 squares. So in terms of light squares, sure, white is actually controlling quite strongly light squares at the moment. But what about these dark squares, these corresponding dark squares? Especially these two in the center. Are they going to be of great interest to Leela? e6, bishop g5, queen c7, unpinning that knight. a5. Now this is quite an ambitious positional plan. A little bit of structural damage. Leela actually accepts this. b takes knight d2. Now white will have to put some effort to regaining this pawn. What could happen in the meantime? A very powerful positional move now, knight b8. Now these two key squares, it will be nice actually if both of these knights could make use of both of these squares. By this maneuver, this knight could eventually go to d4 and this one could potentially go to e5. And then they'd be partners in crime. <laughs> Basically, they'd be really helping each other put pressure on the white position all over the place. Let's see. Knight b3, knight c6. So in the short term, just protecting this pawn. So it has to expend more effort now to try and win back the pawn. Queen d2, rook a b8, rook a3. Quite a lot of resources just to regain that pawn. Bishop a8, rook f a1. Now knight d7, so this knight is becoming relevant to e5. Look at these knights ready to pounce on the dark squares. Is this going to be the trade? Leela's going to let white regain the pawn, but these knights are going to jump to these large dark squares in the center. Knight takes, and now knight d4. The knight can't come back. Now, it's in Siberia almost at the moment. It has to be rescued with something like bishop d1 now. This looks like a lot of time invested. Is there a uh, something at, at the end of this, like this a6 pawn to attack after? As a reward, bishop d1 is played. If queen d1, then that just neglects b2. So it, it's uh, what else to try and get the knight out of here to try and unlock the potential of these doubled rooks on a6. So bishop d1 for knight b3 to be supported. Is Leela worried? Actually, Leela counter strikes now with f5, trying to open up this diagonal. And also, of course, this f file is a little bit dangerous. We have knight b3. The knight finally comes back. But now f takes e4. And now d takes e4, which does weaken the c4 pawn. The thing is here on knight takes e4, there's d5. This is a very powerful move, d5. For example, c takes, bishop takes, and white doesn't have time to do anything with the a6 pawn. It's under great pressure here. For example, knight takes, bishop takes. What's more important now is the f2 pawn rather than the a6 pawn. Black is threatening things like bishop takes and taking on f2 with the rook in particular, maybe. So say this, then rook takes b2. It's falling apart. So white has to be very careful and plays actually d takes e4. But now knight e5, both knights have achieved their mission. Huge knights in the center now. Okay, there's the a6 pawn as the trade-off. Is that a big deal? 
knight, the knight voluntarily goes back blocking both of the rooks the rooks are saying what is this <laughs> what is this the thing is knight takes d4 c takes queen takes for example there's knight f3 check exposing an attack on the queen that just wins the queen so given that's the case what is white actually uh, doing here uh, this is a very difficult position if this position and knight a4 instead that's awkward knight takes c4 forking queen and rook so say this there's actually d3 to unpin the knight it just gets nasty and then yeah it just gets really nasty for example like this it doesn't bear thinking about so the knight voluntarily goes back this seems to be a positional disaster from white to have expended so much resource for a little bit of structural damage okay regaining the pawn back but that's not exactly the greatest aim in chess to regain the sacrificed pawn queen f7 is played now bishop e3 here uh, if f4 there's actually h6 and you can see that the power of this f file if f takes then there's queen f1 check while the rook is not protecting f1 and here if bishop h4 then there's g5 and this is just horrible it's all pretty horrible here this is just horrible so for white so we have bishop e3 but now g5 anyway and this makes way for the queen to come to h5 sometimes we have the rook going back to a2 white's pieces have all just gone to the queen side it seems just after nothing really uh if bishop takes g5 queen g6 there's a nasty pin on g2 so for example check here wins the queen so let's see so the rook going back to a2 now g4 which means that queen h5 is possible and what is brewing up here after queen h5 you might wonder is it the dreaded <coughs> the dreaded form pawn see t-shirt link t-shirt store there you can get your form pawn t-shirts is it the dreaded form pawn brewing here after bishop e2 yes threatening mate the form pawn must arrive now on the scene with this mate threat g takes g takes form pawn we have the form pawn the power of the form pawn bishop f1 is played on bishop takes f3 check this position this is just devastating for example here there's mate on h1 queen d1 there's queen h3 with idea knight f3 check so for example here queen takes h2 as well it's hopeless so bishop f1 was chosen bishop e5 threatening mate on h2 so h3 we have king h8 just making way for rook g8 this is a beautiful attacking position look at white's pieces totally irrelevant what are these rooks doing on the a file this is comical hashtag king's crusher if you're on instagram comical c takes d4 knight e2 f takes queen takes this is just desperate this this knight e2 is absolutely desperate f takes if white doesn't do anything there's simply things like rook g8 and queen g6 just just the g file looks absolutely devastating so this is an offering to stave off being mated for a bit queen h4 with the threat of rook takes f2 knight c6 another very desperate move it's all fallen apart if bishop g2 may be the most clinical there's queen f4 threatening mate and here rook g8 this is crushing because of rook takes g2 check and a mate here so queen h4 we have knight c6 this offering is just hopeless that's taken rook takes f2 yep Lila is a whole bishop up and now after rook g8 we have queen takes g8 check just it's really completely gone of queen f3 queen g5 for example and then here bishop takes e4 is cute with this idea check and then just mating like this so we have uh, queen takes g8 bishop d3 queen d2 
threatening checkmate again and also of course the bishop the end is going to be soon here even with Leela's trolling style King g1 Bishop takes e4 threatening mate on g2 check and mate <laughs> if you enjoyed this game video then please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessmold.net so you can play against other youtubers you can also check the youtube analysis of this games and others in advance with the improved menu learn from the masters youtube order uh comments questions and nations see the description like share subscribe to the notification bell and also check out my new teespring store some of you are getting those t-shirts so there's a form porn t-shirt for example check that out in the description okay thanks very much